gentlemen, my first guest tonight wears a hat. And he's a big country music star, wears a hat, uh, which is difficult for us because the lighting's crappy in here and we have to get a special light in when people have a hat. <laughs> Soon it'll just be a flashlight under the chin. <laughs> and we can tell scary camping stories. <laughs> anyway, he's a big country music star. His latest album 10 is in stores now. Please welcome the wonderful Trace Atkins, everybody. Great. Good to see you, big guy. How have you been? I've been good. Yeah, see the album. The album's ten. Mm. Is it is it dedicated in any way to the movie starring uh, you know what's her name, Bo Derek, when she ran down the beach with her boobies moving up and down? Several songs about that on yeah, here. You, <laughs> you do like you do like. Uh, I, I seem to remember the video for Honky Tonk Badonka Donk. There was. Uh, <laughs> Which a, I have to a, say. A tribute to. Yeah, to yeah, there was, there, yeah. Was, there was some uh, boobies in that one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> why, are you, why is your seat up so high? Well, you're eight foot tall, that's why. <laughs> you're not used to seeing people on the same level, are you? Except maybe birds. <laughs> <laughs> that's all. <Yeah. laughs> hey. <laughs> what? Congratulations on a lot of stuff since I saw you last. Yeah, yeah. What, you know, what are you talking about? Then? A citizen, you got yeah, married. Yeah, 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 yeah. You eloped. Uh, well, I didn't elope. Uh, well, you didn't tell anybody you were getting <coughs> married. Well, no, because I thought someone might talk That's me out. That's eloping. <laughs> well, I did. I told some people. I just didn't tell, you know. You tell I, me. Well, I didn't want to know anyway, but. All anyway. right, all right. And <laughs> congratulations. You got a new set, too. Really? No, no I think this is just that we got a new light. That's what oh. it is. Uh, Better light we, we, now. Yeah, no, we got a light because you're wearing a hat. Better light now. Yeah. It poses a great problem for us here. This is a really crappy low-budget show. So when we, you, you know, when we have someone wearing a hat, it's a big deal for us. I know the guy back there was trying to give me a flashlight before I came. Yes, yes. And he wanted me to hold it. I saw it right there. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then you could have told ghost stories to us. Do you, do you have any? If you turn off that light, yeah. then I could tell ghost stories. Do you know any ghost stories? Not really. Not really. <laughs> do you go and see the scary movies and then get all frightened like a little girl? I, you know what? I don't go. I haven't seen an adult film in a long time. I mean, it's just. Oh come on! I go on. see like kid stuff. And, oh you know, yeah, I see what you mean. Go with the kids. And, <laughs> Well, I've seen lots of those. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. But what's the point to, of being... I don't go to the theater to no, see No, no, no. No, Pee Wee Herman taught us. I have, Mer I have Mer a collection of those. And... So when you're on the road then, you know, when you're touring from town to town with your country music, do you rent a lot of porn in those hotels? I don't hardly ever stay in a hotel, really. Really? What, do, you, do you have the bus? Yeah, yeah. You stay on the bus? Yeah. So you've got the porn there all the time? There you go. <laughs> On demand. Well, you see, the problem is with I am very suspicious of guys who watch porn with other guys in the room. Uh, I'm not so sure about that. And they go, oh, let's watch porn. I'm like, no, let's only, not. Only somebody that's done that would know. I, I, I've never done that. Die. <laughs> you, you've never watched porn with another guy? No, though? man. Yeah. Well, would you like to? <laughs> <laughs> Can't say that I would. No, no, no probably not. You can keep your hat on. You gonna give me a light? <laughs> I think we just found our scary story. <laughs> oh man! Uh, All right then. I thought that was a flashlight he was handing me. Maybe it was. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> Yeah, well, there you are. You can uh, edit all this yeah, out. Yeah, no, we can take all this out. It's true. Now, listen, uh, you're still touring. Have you been in Nashville recently? I'm going to Nashville soon. Oh, really? Yeah, the, week the weekend. I'm doing a show there. Like what kind of show? Comedy show. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
I got a little comedy club there, Zanies. No, no, it's Zanies. not in Zanies. I, I know Zanies. It's not in Zanies. No, it's in the Enormo Dome. The Enormo. No, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't yeah, okay. know where, I forget where it is, but it's right. it's in Nashville or one of its outlying suburbs. <laughs> do you like Nashville? You should probably do Zanies. You could probably fill that room. I don't know about the Normo Dome. I don't. Oh, no, no, no! It, it's so sold out. Oh really? Yeah, forty thousand people. Well, since the Normo Dome doesn't exist. Then... Yeah, well. <laughs> and it was a story I made up to impress you. I'm impressed. But I'm going to Nashville this weekend. I've never been. Good, call yeah. me. Yeah, are you in I'm Nashville? not going to be there, but. <laughs> I'll give you my number anyway. <laughs> Leave a message. Tell me how you like it. All right, then. I know right. a couple of cops. I can help you out, maybe. Something. Are they real cops or guys that just dress up like cops to watch porn with them? I watch porn with them. <laughs> a couple of my porn buddies. <laughs> porn buddies? One of them dresses like an Indian, though. Oh, dude, really? Dude. That's okay. That's okay. But there is one of them dresses like a cop. Though. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and another one wears a kilt. Yeah, yeah, enough. that's right. All right, that's enough. Please act as everybody. You'll be back later to perform. We'll be right back. Now, what did we learn on the show? I tell you what we learned on the show tonight. We learned that Trace Atkins watches porn with a guy dressed as a car. <laughs> and a guy who wears a kilt. Uh, we also learned, what we learned? We learned that some people uh, prefer boxers, some people prefer wrestlers. <laughs> what else did we learn? We learned that um, Perez Hilton offered to uh, hold my flashlight anytime I wanted. <laughs> I have to be honest with you, I thought he was quite nice. And I was expecting something a little bit more queenie. I thought, I didn't think he was going to be that nice. I thought, oh, oh, we better be careful here. And no, he was very, very pleasant. <laughs> and I'll tell you what else. Trace Atkins is funny, isn't he? I mean, I... He is, though. You know... Usually guys that tall and scary looking don't bother being funny. <laughs> they don't have to be funny. They're eight foot tall and scare the pants off anybody that comes near them. And we had to have a special light, that's what we learned tonight, a special light to light people with hats on. And Trace was going to come out with a flashlight underneath his face. And here's what I learned. Trace kind of looks like he's got a flashlight underneath his face. Even when he doesn't. You're welcome, Trace. Good night, everybody. It's in stores now. Please welcome Trace Atkins, everybody. Trace Atkins. Don't need him. How you doing, big time? You okay? I feel good, man. Yeah. What yeah. The, what the, may I ask what the hell is going on here with this? <laughs> what's going on? You're a you're a serious musician. What's what's happened? I yeah, this I had no idea. This has gotten a lot bigger than I thought it would. Uh, this particular area here is that the area we're talking about? What part? The the, the pickaxe handle, right? Oh here, yeah. yeah. No, I got one that big. <laughs> but. And there's the pickaxe handle. That. Right. I, I just, I, you know, I was approached by these guys and they wanted to do a comic book and they, and I was like, about what? And they were, well, you were going to make you like, I said, not like with a cape and tights and stuff, you know. See, that's where you and me are different. I'd be like, can I have a cape and tights? So anyway, <laughs> they said, well, we want to just talk to you about this story and the scenario and, and things you would say and how you would react in certain situations. And so they did that, and then I forgot about it, and now the thing came oh. out, you know? It's pretty and, good, uh, actually. I gotta be honest, it's pretty good. And you get to hang around with some very attractive, drawn women. I know. 
And there was this one thing in there where he'd just gotten out of prison, see, and then he met this girl here. Yeah, yeah, look, look at that. And, girl. And, he, and he was being a gentleman and said, I just got out of prison and this wouldn't be Nothing right. Nothing says I'm a gentleman like And I, I told just, yeah. them I would not react that way in that situation. No, no. If I'd been in prison that long, I would not, I would go, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't. <laughs> Let's do a little, let's do a real role playing, right? You've just been, you've just been in prison for ooh, five. Don't put your kilt on. No, no. It's role playing, it's not actual thing. For role playing. You've just got out of prison, right? And I'm a young lady that's come to meet you and drive you to your next appointment. Hello, Trace. Too awful for you. <laughs> Come on, man. Give me something to work with. I'm not that good of an actor. Yeah, I don't know. Hey, hey listen, so I'm watching the CMAs last night. Where the hell were you? I was doing a video. Oh, really? Yeah. Didn't you get nominated this year? No. Not, not on the CMA. What the hell is wrong with those people? Know, they hate me. I don't know what the deal is. They can't hate you. It's country music. Everybody loves you in country music. No. See you, man. Yeah. Yeah. You the CMA is a different thing, though. That's it's uh, it's a it's an industry insider political thing, and I don't play well with others, so I don't ever get invited to the party. You surprise me. I always thought you were so social and easy to get along with. It's you only when you're are. wearing your kilt. Yeah. Did you just fart? No. A little bit. A little bit. Ah. It, actually, it was earlier on when I was excited pretending to be the girl coming out of it. I thought I heard that. <laughs> Welcome. You've just got out of prison. What? No, don't read comics. You're here to do some work. I now, haven't even looked at it really good yet. Yeah, all right, Dan. Well, look, here's what happened. You know, you're on the back, too. They've got commercial yeah, figures. Yeah. You've always got things written good. right next to your business. Look, you got a, you got a <laughs> thing here, and then you got that, the guitar here. Are you implying something? Well, they exaggerated everything. No, you know, no, no, no. Except that. Well, they were probably trying to get it all in proportion. That's uh, uh, trying to do you a favor. Mm -hmm. yeah. Have you been out? What were you doing then if you were doing a video last night? You got a new song coming out? Uh, yeah, I'm working on a new album. I ought to be done with it January. So, yeah, we were doing a video for a corporate sponsor that we're working with next year on next year's tour. And Who's the corporate sponsor? BC Powder. <laughs> BC they, they, make, they make an excellent product. BC, yeah. what? I don't know what it is. <laughs> well, what is the product? That's it's it's an aspirin that comes in paper and it's ground up. It's a powder. It's not like a tablet. So you just dump it in your mouth and it works a lot faster that way because you don't have to dissolve it. We sure this is aspirin because I don't know. I notice you don't have I've the... Got, I'll give you some. No, all right. <laughs> all right, I'm good. I'll take it. Don't do it the other way, though. No, what? No, 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 no. I'd never do that again. That's, yeah. Hey, where's your ponytail, man? You're all kind of, like, hanging there like some kind of big sexy lion. <laughs> I was going to come out here without my hat on and because I don't ever do that. And so... And, and the dude back there was going to fix my hair, and I was like... You know what? I better call my wife. <laughs> and so yeah, I that, did. You're a very wise and man. So I did. <laughs> and the compromise was, okay, you can, you don't have to wear a ponytail, but you have to wear the hat. But she's, she, her contention is, if I come out here without a hat, nobody's going, they're going to think I'm a wrestler. That they won't know. <laughs> Country music superstar. Not without the hat. Okay. Well, I think that says a lot about country music, though, doesn't it? In a way, you gotta have the hat on. Tell me, do you wear the hat a lot around your wife? When we play Big Chief. Yeah. 
Big Chief just got out of prison. That, that. <laughs> Love that game. <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty good game, actually. That's a good yeah. Game. yeah. Uh, I like that one too. Mm, Man, you, you you were in Nashville a while back. I was, yeah, I saw you thing. when I was there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's I'm pretty, going back. He's really, he's funny when he does his stand up. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all should go see that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God, up? I can't what? think why you don't go on with those country music award people. <laughs> Why do you keep showing off your snake cup? Oh, I don't know, McBain. I don't know. Pot, kettle, kettle, pot. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're out of time. Oh, when are you, when are you going to come back and see us again? I don't know. <laughs> All right, well, that's. I'm out this way doing something. Well, if you're out this way, uh, you know, you've just got out of prison. How come perhaps? I didn't sing tonight? I don't know. Why could... Well, you. <laughs> well, you want a guitar? Yeah. Yeah. You want to sing? <laughs> hey, but well, just so you don't you feel any pressure, I get no problem disappointing these people. <laughs> I know. You, you know that because you saw the monologue. So right now, you know I don't feel bad about disappointing them. I know you don't. Okay. It's just... <laughs> did I, you, you didn't bring a guitar, did you? No. Oh, well, there you go. Um, but you didn't... Nobody asked me to. It was a thing. I thought it was kind of weird. But actually, it's cool. We got we visit longer, you know, without yeah, yeah, me having true. to sing. I mean, we've been out of time for about I five minutes, was, but you keep going, buddy. I, I, I was just afraid I wouldn't get paid if I didn't sing, you know? So... <laughs> But they assured me that I still would yeah, get you paid. Yeah, uh, no, everybody gets paid. It's a union thing. You have to get paid. You have to get... The minute you sit in that chair, you have to get paid. Don't Four. you hate the unions? I hate the unions. No, no way. <laughs> no way. I love the unions. What the hell is wrong with you? I, 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 I love the unions. I love me, the Teamsters, and any other affiliated unions. <laughs> Praise Atkins, everybody. We got to go. My first guest tonight is one of the biggest stars in country music. His latest album, Cowboys Back in Town, is in stores now. Please welcome the man with the hat, Trace Atkins, everybody. Trace. I'm good, Craig. I've missed you. How are you? I've missed you, too. I feel like I haven't seen you in such a long time. Man, yeah, was, uh, you know what? what? You've, things have changed a little now. You've uh, you got puppets and a stupid robot. That's not... <laughs> Don't say that's not... You've run out of good stuff, haven't you? Now you're Hockey using puppets. Hockey talk, my badunk. <laughs> <laughs> Honky tonk, my badunk. Yeah, no, I th see. I think he likes you. That's what he says when he likes you. Honky tonk, badunk, badunk. Yep. See. I'm gonna disembowel your robot. Uh oh. Uh, no, 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 no. Don't, don't, don't hurt him. He's uh, also he's plugged into the mains. You might get shot. That horse killed himself. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean really. He just killed his sister. He committed suicide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's embarrassed. Well, I was taking a leak. He looked over and... <laughs> hey, hey, hey. There's no subtext to what you're saying here, is there? <laughs> How you doing? You been on the road? Have you been touring with this thing? Yeah. Everybody's back in town? Yeah. Oh, look at you there with the back with the sunglasses on. It's looking, you're inside. What the hell's Those that? Those aren't mine, though. Huh. You... Stylists let you borrow sunglasses to, to do these things, and they're like $600 sunglasses, and you... they want you to buy them, and I go, no. No, no. You... <laughs> I like sunglasses that cost less than 10 bucks, and you get them from a truck stop. That's where I get mine. That's why I like mine, too, yeah. Because you... I lose them, I sit on them, and, you know. On purpose? <laughs> Do 
You hey, coming back to Nashville? I'm coming down to Nashville, yeah. Can, can we go out and have some dinner or something? No, but I'll come to the show if you give me some tickets. <laughs> no, but, but can we go out and have some dinner or something? We could have some dinner. We could have steaks and stuff. Just I can wear a cowboy hat. It'd be awesome. Just give me the tickets to the show. I'll give you tickets to the show, but you've got to take me for some dinner and stuff. I don't stuff. want to. <laughs> well, take me lunch at a Piggly Wiggly or something then. Maybe. Last time I went, there was a woman sitting behind us last... You came there last year. Right. There was a woman sitting Sometimes behind us. Sometimes women she come and see me, too. hammered, man. She was so drunk. Oh, yeah. You know, like, when you would ask a question and then she would answer, you oh, know? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. During your shtick thing. Yeah, it's my, my second wife. Ah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you'd say, like, do you ever spread gray coupon on your butt? And she'd go, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Never say the I don't do the grey poupon on your butt. That's not me. That's something. You stopped doing that since yeah, yeah, you I got the robot. Did you ever spread grey poupon on your butt? You probably had all that weird stuff. Now you got money and your big star and stuff. You probably spray mustard on your butt. I can't afford the grey poupon. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm still here with the yellow mustard. No, I, I prefer yellow mustard unless the grey poupon advertised in CBS. Then of course they have great. <laughs> Do you ever do any of them corporate gigs? I'm doing one of them. I have, yes. Have you? How, does, how does that go for you? They're usually pretty boring. Yeah, yeah I think I'm going to open up a new chapter in Boring for these people tonight because I, I don't even have a band. I'm, I'm not even the skeletons coming. It's just me talking. I don't know what's wrong with them. Might as well kill yourself. No. <laughs> You're going to bomb. I, oh, yeah, absolutely. They're going to hate you. Yeah, they... <laughs> You've already said on TV you have no idea who they are. Well, yeah. If I was doing a corporate gig, I wouldn't go on national television and say that I didn't have any idea who they were. People expect me to tell the truth, Trex. No, they don't. <laughs> I don't. What, you don't, you don't, what, know who they are or tell the truth? I don't tell the truth about I don't know who they are. You're not going to do another corporate gig for a long time. I'm not going to. No, I, I probably shouldn't anyway. And they usually pay pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, this one probably does. That's, pro that's probably why I'm doing but it. But you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> now, I, of course I know who they are. They're my best friends. We've been friends for years. Direct marketing and me were like this. Talk about uh, something that was on the list. Uh, what, what list? I don't have any list. I, I know. know. Every time before I come on the show, I do an interview with that little girl, and she goes... Megan, yeah. Yeah. She goes, well, we're going to talk about this and that. And I go, no, he's not. <laughs> Well, you know, I, I went. You haven't talked about one thing that was on the list. Is that real money? Yeah, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Sit down. Sit down. It is real money. It's like, I keep money here and I'll tell you why. Because sometimes you get difficult guests and I ask them questions and they say, oh, I don't really know. And then I go, does this refresh your memory? <laughs> it's kind of like the huggy bear approach. You know what I mean? So. Stick hey! Yeah. Actually, that was pretty good. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Here's if you get yourself something pretty. Right, now listen. They're ones. <laughs> C it's CBS. This show. CBS. I mean, I asked for money to give the guests, and they said, okay, and they gave me two, about, there's about 40 bucks here. Maybe. In, yeah. in singles, but they're new. That's, mmm. They got that new money spell. And they're flat. Yeah. And pretty. Flat and pretty. Like Oklahoma. Hey, there you go. You're from Kansas. Oklahoma. Kansas? It's flat. Now, Kansas has got some rolling hills. Well, Oklahoma has some mountains. You don't even... Why aren't we talking about stupid... I got about... Right <laughs> See, get back to the list. I don't have the list. I, di I didn't read the, the list. Where's the list? There is no list. <laughs> All right, then, uh, I hear... We're dying out here. <laughs> well, let's just do an awkward pause then, and then uh, that way we'll, at least we'll know where we're at. Can you play the harmonica? Uh, yeah. Mm. Can you? Nope. You probably have someone do it for you, don't you? 
No, it's usually really bad guitar players and people that can't sing very good learn to play the harmonica. Man, what is wrong with you? You like kind of Bob Dylan and Bruce Springsteen. What the hell, man? What the hell? Uh -oh. Yeah. You think I wouldn't be doing any corporate gigs? Whoa. See, they can't afford the robot, so they put the harmonica on the thing right here. We should teach the harmonica how to do the, the robot. You teach the robot, the robot how to, to do play. The harmonica. Harmonica. <laughs> Sorry, I was thinking about the money. <laughs> well, we're out of time, but you're going to come back and perform for us, aren't you? Mm. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's wait and see if he says yes first. <laughs> uh, are you? Yes. Oh, there you are. Cheers, Hawkins, everybody. We'll be right back. show you in a few months. I love your pink little furry something much bigger than raisins. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's got to be a classy show tonight. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's very nice for you here. I, can I touch your moustache? Please. <laughs> Not that one. <laughs> no, 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 I meant that one. Can I touch it? Ooh, it feels like a lady rabbits. <laughs> I love rabbits. They you taste, eat rabbits, don't you? They taste like chicken. Yeah. No, no, no. No, the rabbit. Get your hands off me! <laughs> when I said that, I meant kiss me. Okay. <laughs> That is the first interspecies puppet gay kiss. <laughs> Take that, groundbreaking other TV shows. <laughs> Join us, why don't you, after the break when <clears throat> there'll be less puppets. <laughs> you got what? You got hair in your mouth, I yeah, guess. No. <laughs> Hey, big time, how's it going? Um, awesomer than the last time I was here. Yeah? I hardly would have thought that possible, Trish. I know. I can't believe you're, in, you're doing the movie stay with Matthew McConaughey, honey. Pronounce his name correctly. He gets mad if you don't. How do you know that? Because I mispronounced his name in a song that I did, and uh, he let me know that I did, that I mispronounced his name. 
Yeah, well. I said McConaughey because it rhymed. I had an E rhyme and. <laughs> well, what did so, you rhyme it with? McConaughey, he's. Uh, sorry, just sure. Yeah, right. It was some E and knee. I don't no, know. No, no, yeah. <laughs> McConaughey, he showed his knee like going on like Donkey Kong, all that stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that kind of thing. Well, that's so I didn't have a I didn't have an A rhyme, so I didn't say McConaughey. I said McConaughey, and he was. Oh, man, he's got to lighten up about that. <laughs> or else he'll never go to a Starbucks. I go into a Starbucks and I say, they say, what name? And I say, Craig. And then they go, oh, thanks, Paul. And then they give me the name. Right. <laughs> I can't imagine that happens to you much. No, you're not mistaken for other people often, are you? I don't go into Starbucks. Why? I just don't like that foo-foo coffee. <laughs> I don't, I, because I don't want to stand behind somebody ordering a Tai Chi. <laughs> tai Chi is a martial arts dress. You can't get a Tai Chi in Starbucks. Tai Chi, Jackie Chan, vanilla. No, it's not a Tai <laughs> You know, it just irritates. What's that coming to go? Oh, man. I don't know. Just go up there and get a cup of, I want a cup of coffee. <laughs> well. Well, I don't need, I don't want no cream or sugar, just a cup of coffee, please. Why is it everything? And, I'll, and I don't ever say Verdi or whatever it is. <laughs> I always walk up there and I go, give me a big ass cup of coffee. <laughs> well, you know, Verdi is just Italian for big ass. You didn't know that? I'm not Italian or gay, how would I know that? Every time you come here, I start to feel more and more like a, 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 an effete showbiz dandy. Oh, you can't help you right with now. that, Alf. Sure you've got very kind of... You are what you are, I can't help you out. Oh, come on. I saw you in Nashville. It was all right, wasn't it? I love it. We had a good time in Nashville. I did, man. Yeah, you yeah. were funny, funny, funny. I know. Y'all should see his stand-up. It's much funnier than much what funnier. he's done here. I, uh, I had a great time in Nashville. I loved that place. Uh, the, I that's do too. The street down there where you can buy a hat. <laughs> they got that big street. You can buy a hat. You can get drunk and ride a bull without moving. It's a lot like heaven. Yeah. <laughs> When you were starting out, did you play? Because there's a lot of guys playing in these little bars around there, and they were good too. That's what I was amazed by. And they did are. you start out doing that? I did. I played clubs uh, about five years without a day gig, you know, just playing the club circuit in the Southwest. And then when I moved to Nashville, I played clubs for about three years there before I got a record deal. So, yeah, I did my time in the beer joint. It seemed to me like some of these uh, musicians that were drinking. They were? Yeah. <laughs> I noticed that as time went on, because I don't drink anymore, and as time went on, some of the playing got a little sloppier than it had been earlier in the year. What they were counting on was that you were matching them. Ah, you drink. see, yeah, of course. The audience would be reaching the same level of drunkenness as the band. You, sir, are a professional musician. Yes. Yeah, sure, clearly you're I always had, I always had very happy club owners, because I would challenge people, you know, to drink as much as I did. From the stage, you know. Yeah. And so I sold a lot of liquor. Yeah. Which is really the business that you're in when you're playing beer joints. You're, you're not in the music business. You're in the liquor business. So. Well, it's the same in late night TV. I'm not in late night TV. I'm just selling boner pills to lonely people. <laughs> CBS cares. Mm. Yeah, I know. You on tour right now? Are you uh, hey, uh, hey, 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 hey! Uh, <laughs> you know I hate you. Thanks. Yeah, no, I know you hate him. Yeah, yeah. Be, care be careful, Jeff. He'll hurt you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my own tour? Uh, yeah. Not really. I thought you were out touring around and doing the thing with the puppets and the, the, all that stuff. Nah, I'm doing. I'm doing a few shows here and there. We'll really crank it up, you know, around April. So like ne that's next month, and yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's a <laughs> I took the winter off this year. It's the first time I've not done a winter tour in four or five years, but I just told him I'm not doing a winter tour this year. I don't want to do it. You did that movie probably as well with your movie star buddies going all Hollywood. I did that back in September. Really? Mm hmm That Matthew McConaughey, he's a fine-looking man, isn't he?
He don't do it for me. Yeah, really. no, come on. Come on. He's a good guy, man. He is a good guy. He's I, been I gotta here. tell nice you, guy. you know, he he really was very gracious to me because he he wanted me to do well because he knew I didn't know what I was doing, you know. So he he took his time and rehearsed those things with me, and I appreciated him doing that. He didn't have to do that. No, he didn't. No, no. But then again, you would have crushed him like a buck. <laughs> Hey, and uh, uh, I was not, well, it's not too often, you know, that I'm in a situation like that where I question my manhood, but dude, those were the real, those bikers were the real thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, you don't mess around with that. No, I know my place. I know when to go, hey, hey. And they were all covered in tats, and if you saw on the thing, I don't have any tats. Well, I got one tattoo, but you're never going to see it. But. You say that with your voice, but you say something different with your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I love doing that. Uh -oh. To you, it drives you crazy, doesn't it? <laughs> you can make me about as uncomfortable as any man. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I see that as my role in life, actually. <laughs> To torment me. Yeah, I got, torment, I got kids and wives for that. Man. Yeah, I know, I know. You got a new grandkid, didn't you? I do. Oh, that's lovely. Congratulations. Little boy, finally. Yeah, yeah I got a little boy. Yeah, because I thought you just had girls, you know, like 12 girls or something. I got, got? five, yeah. Five, five yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a lot. One of them finally had a son, so. Yeah. You've you got a new boy. I got a new boy, yeah, yeah. I got two boys. Thanks for a round of applause. We've both had sex with our wives. I evidently have had a lot more than you have. But... <laughs> you should take some more of those boner pills. <laughs> All right. That's enough. We'll be right with Trace Atkins, everyone. My first guest tonight is a great big country music star. His latest album, Proud to Be Here, is in stores now. Please welcome my friend, the enormously tall Trace Atkins, everybody. Trace Atkins. How you doing, cowboy? You all right? Good. You, yeah, you're looking good. You're looking tearing well. up the note card. Yeah, I always it away. Do. Look at this. Look at you. On the front of the card, look at you on, the, on your front of the album, which is great. But what I'm worried about is on the back of the album here, the silhouette shot. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? I mean, the back of the guitar is fine, but if you look at the neck of the guitar here. It's actual size. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> actual size on Yeah. That means... <laughs> Look, here's your coffee cup back. Well, I, 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 I know. I used to come on this show and he would give you a, something pretty nice. Now he gives you a black coffee cup and he writes on it and it's got a piece of chalk in it. <laughs> so I just wrote you a note and gave it back to you. Oh, it's beautiful. It says, I don't know if you can see. Ay, caramba. Craig. <laughs> Damn, you're cranky tonight. What's going on, man? My house burned down. You give me a new coffee cup. <laughs> I, I'm building up to an entire dinner set. Did you, I, I haven't seen you since the house. Uh, are you all right? Is everybody okay? I'm good. Yeah? Everybody's good, thank you. All yeah. right, then. That's all that mattered was that everybody was okay. You get, did a lot of your stuff get burnt? All of it. Really? Pretty much, yeah. Was that really, really that bad, the fire? Yeah. Yeah. A lot of firemen turn up? Uh, yeah, they all came, I guess. <laughs> That's, uh, that's fireman it for you. It was a big event. Yeah, I know. I, yeah, I heard about it. Yeah, it was on TV and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> are you, are you... I was in Alaska. Fishing. Uh, fishing? Yeah. Oh, man. I was almost fishing. <laughs> well, you were just like, Trace, your house is on fire. Ah, right. damn it. <laughs> I was that close. <laughs> oh, 
man, I gotta go home. And uh, and and the first text I got was from Blake Shelton, and I, it just said, "Dude, is your house on fire?" Oh, you know, he sends me stupid Crikey. like that. All. <laughs> I ain't telling them. Look at the size of them. You can tell them. <laughs> so anyway, that was that was when I was. Uh, that's when I found out. Yeah. Went back home. Everybody's all right. So that's the main thing. Everybody's right? okay. Yeah, 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 that's okay. Yeah. yeah. Are you building a new house? Not yet. We'll start sometime in the spring, probably. Well, well where are you living then, man? Are you living in tents? It's like occupy burnt shell. <laughs> I'm trying to be sensitive here, man. I'm trying to help, you know. Nah, you know, we uh, rent a place. It's okay. Yeah? Right. Yeah. You stayed in a hotel? You got a bit of money? <laughs> uh, we stayed in a place for a while, but uh, I've got another little house out at the farm. That oh, yeah, right. in. yeah. Two houses. You're like Jeff. He's got a lot of houses. <laughs> yeah, you guys don't get along. I know. I, I got it. Uh, yeah, I know. I, I got it. What the hell, man? I mean, you really, you got a real downer on He's just on a my... little dumber than you are. Oh, come on, man. What's, what's the matter? Are you passing gas? What's Who's going on? Whose kids my... are those in the pictures? They're my kids. It's I didn't to remind see those me... last time they were here. Well, it's because you weren't looking. That's my kids right there. Boy, that's some ugly youngins. <laughs> you know, nobody's ever really honest with you about yeah, that. Yeah, no, yeah, no. Well, I'm, I'll be sure. Uh, I'll be sure. Uh, they look just like you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll be, I'll be sure to pass on your opinion to my I wife. I knew that cloning thing wasn't a good idea. That what? That cloning thing's not a good oh, idea. No, I no. oh, they got different ideas. I got boys. You got old girls, haven't you? Yes. <laughs> yeah. I bet you're really tough at home there, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> They'll kill you, them girls. Uh, that'd be that bad. What ages yeah. are they? 26, 22, 13, 10, 7. Three-year-old granddaughter. I mean, that's great, but... Three-year-old granddaughter, one-year-old grandson, and he's completely worthless. He doesn't help me at all. You know? Chris, he's one. Yeah, but, you know, he needs to step it up. <laughs> <laughs> you made yourself laugh a little bit there, a little bit. It cracked a little, well, yeah. I've been fighting this fight for a long time by myself. Well, I yeah, I mean, you're, you're a man surrounded by women who are not... You know, they won't even have boy dogs. They got two girl dogs. <laughs> well, you probably don't want to. They probably don't want balls flying around all the time. <laughs> Plus, you can look at this. But you're you're enough. Yeah, yeah. You're enough testosterone for uh, all of that for the whole neighborhood. This is true. There you go. <laughs> Are you out on the road? Are you you turn around in the bus? Yeah, we're touring around. Uh, we're doing a show out here in the Los Angeles neighborhood uh, tomorrow night. I think. I never really think of L.A. as a neighborhood. I think of it more of a... I mean, it's, it's sweet the way you say it, but I... I only just come to one little park, so... What? You ever been to Anaheim? No. That's where Disneyland is. got a football is. stadium there? Yeah, I something think they like have. No, no, a baseball park. Baseball, yeah, yeah. So. yeah. They got the, uh, they got the uh, Anaheim Angels of Anaheim, Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim Angels. That's where they... <laughs> Long, it's a long. They used to be called the Anaheim Angels. Then it's like nobody Los cares. <laughs> I've been to Disney World. I've never been to Disneyland. Disney World's great. I love Disney World. <laughs> yeah, well, nobody -la -la. cares. Great. <laughs> Are you going to smack me now? <laughs> I really don't want you to smack me. Yeah, I'm late. later I'm going to smack you around a little bit. You're coming to Nashville in January. Yeah, January, yeah. I'm coming. You're going to come to the show? I'll be get in the front to... row, dude. Yeah, you're always... No, you're always there when I play in Nashville. You're always there throwing stuff. You have a terrible arm, i got to say, for a man that size. You think you'd hit me with something by now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, well, we should, go out, we should go out and get something to eat while we're there. Okay. Right, you know, take me out. You got, what's your favorite restaurant down there? Mm, I, don't, I, I don't want to plug any of them, really. All right. <laughs> uh, could, yeah, maybe they'd give us something. No, let's see.
We should go to the Palm. The Palm. Yeah, let's go to the let's go to the Palm. Yeah. That's my favorite. All right. Me and Craig are coming there. Yeah. To eat for free. Damn straight. Um, uh, listen, um, we're out of time, and then you're going to come back and perform. But now's your chance to win a big cash prize or do an awkward pause. What do you prefer, Trace? <laughs> <laughs> You know, you're, you're like a you young know, Wilford Brimley with me, man. You're just trying to see what it's going to take for him to finally kick you off the air, aren't yeah. you? Yeah. You know, you just think if you just completely just give up, you know, that at some point they'll get the message and tell you to quit coming. Yeah, and you know, when that happens, they got to write a check. <laughs> Severance package. Yeah, severance package. That's yeah. right. Crazy like a fox. I don't have a severance package. Anyway. Let's guess, yeah, I'll win. Cash money. price? Sure. All right, but you got to answer a question. Or you can think what's in my box. It's up to you. If you... There's two ways to win the big cash prize. You can guess what's in my box, or... What box? Well, what is, I imagine a box in my mind. And then I think of something inside the box, and the only person that knows what's inside the box is Jeff Peterson. You guess what it is, if you're right. <laughs> Just answer the question, all right? I'll be fine. Okay. All right, what time is it, Shadow Stevens? It's time for the big cash prize. There you go, that's it. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> 50 American dollars uh, in singles used at any strip club in these United States. Uh, so, uh, Trace, uh, let's see if you can big cash prize. Uh, Iceland is in the North Atlantic. Its capital city is Reykjavik. True or false? In general... That's true. No, 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 that's not the question. <laughs> in general, men have better hearing than women, but women that have better eyesight... This is a good one for you. True or false? Men have better hearing than women. Men have better hearing than women! But women have better eyesight. True. It's close. <laughs> Just a little, you can be a little closer. That's false. Yeah, absolutely! Trace Atkins, who was in the movie with you. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's the one of the larger men I've ever met. He's a, he's a scary yeah. fella, isn't he? Soft-spoken. Soft-spoken. When, when he says it straight, you're like, okay, Trace. Yeah. I hear you. He looks you right in the eyes yeah. like that. Yeah. Well, he, only when he's sitting down, because when he's standing up, he's like, okay, over yeah. here. Uh, <laughs> he came to see me when I did a show in Nashville, and I had to give a refund to the person sitting behind him. <laughs> Because I couldn't see. Couldn't see. Dude. He was huge. He was wearing a hat. And I, I was going to say, uh, you got to, and you don't want to go, hey, buddy, move out the way. Because he'd go, no, nah. no, I don't want to do that. He's good in the movie, too. He's, uh, yeah, I know. He plays he, the head of a, uh, a biker gang. Some yeah, guys that I'm defending that. and stuff. And uh, he's good. Yeah? Yeah, he's good. You were right. I was wrong. My first guest is a country music superstar. You can catch him on the new season of Celebrity Apprentice. Really? I thought you were never going to do that again. Not. <laughs> anyway, it's premiering this Sunday night on NBC. Trace Atkins, everybody. Trace Atkins. Hey. How you doing? Big time, all right? I'm well. How are you? Yeah, I'm all right. I'm all right. I thought you weren't going to do that Celebrity Apprentice again. I wasn't going to, but they called my wife. And... <laughs> That's low, man. She, I know. That I is. Know, really. They should have called you. If you'd have called you, you could have said no. They did call me twice. Right. And you they said... called me twice, and I said no. And then they called her. And then I had she to do it. Is she making you do it? Why is yeah. she making you do it? Uh, well, there's a really good reason for it, though. Oh, I got a pen for you. A pen? Yeah. The Red Cross is teaming up with uh, oh. Hard Rock, and they're doing those pens for limited edition thing because March is American Red Cross Month. I didn't even know that. Shame on me. Yeah. But I know it now. Yeah. Hey, I, who, who, I, who, what? who keeps the registry of who gets months? I mean, how do they do that? 
It's an office in Washington. It's, you know, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, uh... Is it really? No, I don't know, man. I, it, listen, anyway, I just knew enough to pass a citizenship test. Anyway. I don't know what the hell's going on. So March was American Red Cross Month. Okay. And anyway, you're putting it on back. Oh, no, yeah. no, I'm not. Okay. No, I'm not. What the hell, man? Since you've become uh, the celebrity apprentice guy, you're so, so picky. Shut up. Ah, oh, stop it. <laughs> trying to say what was i talking about oh yeah my house burned down in the red and i was in alaska and the red cross showed up and took care of my family and i owe my debt i felt and so i i played the apprentice and on uh, tried to raise some money for the red cross well good for you that's you know, great so. I, I here's the thing though when your house burned down did you get insurance money um that's i, I don't think i'm supposed to talk about that yet <laughs> See, this is my theory. The, the, well, oh, and by the way, well, all of those uh, wonderful cups that you gave me from every appearance I've ever been on here, yeah. they all burned up. But I don't need you to replace them. I can replace them. I don't want you oh, to. Oh, come on, man. What about one of these babies, eh? Uh, hey, I'm Trace Atkins. Look at this. Ooh la la. You can say that. <laughs> no, I don't need that either. Anyway. So anyway, that's my story about yeah, the whole right. wow. thing. Yeah. All right. Man, you're being tough tonight. You're usually... Well, the last time you were here, you called my kids ugly. I'm still a little sore about that. <laughs> I just saw him backstage. Yeah, one of the little ones. Yeah, he'd kick your ass, that he's kid. Not, yeah. He's got a leash. Yeah, you need a leash for him. I, you know, when we were kids, people would have thought, you know, that's cruel. But now kids have leashes and nobody yeah, thinks it's anything not, about be, it. It's not exactly a leash. It's got a little adorable backpack with a leash on it. It's not like a thing around his neck going, come on, good boy, good boy. You can dress it up all you want to. All right. And you can put... Yeah, I know, I know. You know, you can glam it up and put rhinestones but it's a leash it's the rhinestones on my kids it's not a leash anyway it's a baby monitor safety it's a leash. all right well you go you go girls there was somebody following him holding the other end of it so yeah that would be his mom trace <laughs> hmm he doesn't favor her very much his wife is his wife is beautiful. She is very, very beautiful. Well, your wife is beautiful. When we were, I was last in Nashville, we went out for dinner, remember? That was right. nice, yeah. That's right. Well, we, we got on well that night, didn't we? No. Nah. <laughs> you were a little, uh, you were off that night. I don't... You did, well, you did a really bad show, and then we went what to dinner. What the hell? I did a great show, and then we went to a restaurant, and I've I seen, paid. I've seen you do better. That's all I'm saying wasn't that good but thanks for dinner though that was not good. Well, what was what was wrong with the show you think i was just off i was like my biorhythms were off or what nah your material was old and i heard all that Ooh. before <laughs> all, all that all that growing up in scotland go, comedy yeah you get that all the time do you yeah. hey what? I, was in, what? I was in uh i was in the studio uh last week with the chieftains Oh, they're great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they're fantastic. They're from yeah. Ireland. I know. Yeah, yeah. But they wear dresses like you do. It's not a dress, man. And uh, they play those horns where you do like that. Bagpipes, yeah. yeah. It's a very uh, ancient and noble instrument. We do it like that. <laughs> you do it like that. I can do the national anthem like that. Can you really? Yeah. Can you really do that? I think that's disrespectful, though, to be able to do the national. You should do something else. Well, I don't do it on TV before a game. I'm just... I, you know what? Well, I would like to see It's a parlor that. trick. No, something. I'd yeah. like to see it. I think you should go out there before a big game, take off your shirt, and do the national anthem. Maybe at a NASCAR race. Yeah, all right. Yeah. You follow NASCAR? Yeah. You do? All right? Yeah. Oh, I meant to ask you, did you have a nice time at the Oscars? <laughs> yeah. No, all right, yeah. No. What's wrong, man? I don't know, man. It just seems as though you've just. No, given don't make up. it about me now. This is about you. Look, let's make this a therapy session, all right? Trace, who hurt you? <laughs> let's go back. It's at school. Right? It's third grade. 
You're wearing your big black hat. The other kids are afraid of you. And they call you Scary Trace? No. What are they, they called? They made fun of me because of my hat. They were not afraid of me. We, the other kids were bigger than you? You know, if you're going to have a drone, you should get one that kills people. It's like not a drone! Does. Your drone sucks. It, it, it doesn't kill people. He, he's... I know. You should get one that's useful. I don't... Why would I want a killer drone? I don't know. No, he's not a drone anyway. He's a gay robot skeleton. Just like any other gay robot skeleton. Darnin' sucks. You know, I'm, I, I mean, I know it's a good... I applaud you for doing the show again because it's a good cause and all that, but I'm surprised that you would put up with... Uh, I, I didn't think you and Trump would be would be kind of like, you know. He's never around. Yeah. <laughs> he shows up in the morning and he says, you're going to go do this today. And then he shows up that night and fires somebody. It's pretty much what I do here, really. <laughs> do you think that hair's real? Oh, yeah. It's... That ain't real. No, hey, that ain't... I've looked at it that close, man. Because really? I really wanted to, yeah, because I, I really wanted to study it, you know, so. <laughs> So I looked at it really close, and I don't know where it's coming from, but it's real. Do you think maybe, like, he combs up maybe from his back or maybe, something? Maybe, yeah. yeah. Like, like, back hair, because, I mean, there's just no way that head hair looks like that naturally. You, you have, it has to be imported from another part of the body, clearly. Maybe it's rogue pubes. Mm. It's a perfectly legitimate hypothesis, isn't it? I straighten my pubes. Is that why you wanted an iron in your dressing room then? You're a tough man. I know. <laughs> you must have a very <laughs> steady hand as well. Oh my God. Yeah. You're a terrible human being. Oh, come on, man. You and I are friends. Why are you always, you come out here, you're, you're really nice to me, and then the minute the cameras start, you start busting my balls. I, I don't understand it. You're always so nice to me, and then you come out here, and you're like, you're crazy. Lincoln Berry! And then you're, and then you're fine. You know, I just thought a minute ago that I was wondering why I was here, because, um... Well, here in general, like Earth, or just this show? No, this show. Okay. Because none of my... Friend, I've gotten to that age now where none of my friends stay up this late and <laughs> and none of my friends know how to DVR or anything. So what the hell? <laughs> I don't know what the hell I'm here for. As I'm just going to... uh, come on now. <laughs> oh, man, you, you just I like... I told you to stay in the truck. <laughs> Gin and juice, maybe. Yeah, Something yeah, like yeah. that. Gin and juice.